Hi ladies, it's Josephine Hover with the Vivacious Vixens and I recorded a video showing you how to create your customizable, uh, clickable link to your digital catalog. And in that video I mentioned that I attach it to my email signature so that all my clients or anyone who I email receives it. So I wanted to, I'm about to change it for our new product launch so I wanted to show you how I do that. So this is what an email signature looks like. It gets, it's attached to every single one of my emails. So what you're going to do to set this up, and again I have it set up once you set it up once then you just have to go in and change it uh, as new stuff comes so you're gonna go to settings in Gmail uh, click on the little gear tool down to settings and this is gonna pull up all your settings in Gmail if you didn't know this existed I encourage you to explore first thing is you can change the text of your email so all of my text um, I changed the font on there but you're gonna scroll all the way down you can put your picture in you're gonna scroll down to signature so this is gonna be at the end of all of your outgoing messages um, so with this signature you can change colors, you can make it bold, you can do italicized, you can put in pictures. So I put a picture of myself, my logo, and then whatever's happening. So we have the product launch going on. Now that's over, so I'm going to put in a new picture. So I'm going to get rid of this one, click on this little insert image, and I've already saved a picture from my... Um, from the COO actually. So you can grab pictures from the media center or this one came, let me find it, new products available. This one came straight off of the COO. So even if you don't have the media center, you can find pictures that work. Ooh, so that blue, that added that picture, obviously that's way too big. So I'm gonna click small. That's gonna make that picture smaller. I wanna drag this over to the other side and I want to make it uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, that'll work. <laughs> um, so oh, I was hoping that I could drag corners, but whatever, it's there. So I have my new products now available picture there, in case that's a little added bonus, how to add pictures to your signature. And then I have all my options for, uh, again, anyone who I'm emailing is going to see this. So like it, don't miss our 2017 product launch happening January 3rd. Well, that already happened. So like it, I'm going to say something like shop. Uh, I wanted that to be black, so I'm going to change my font back to black. Shop 24-7. Shop, let's see, discreetly, confidentially. That's not how you spell confidentially. Confidentially, two L's. <laughs> and discreetly, 24, oh my goodness, I'm not a speller, ladies. Well, that's okay. Okay, discreetly, 24-7 at and here I'm just gonna put my website just straight on there um, I have a special domain for my website that reverts back to my pure romance one but they can shop straight on there or browse my digital catalog okay here uh, let's see browse my I'm gonna say winter 2017 digital catalog. So now what I want to do, instead of putting in the whole link, um, I'm just going to attach the link to this wording. So winter 2017, I'm going to go up to this link button. Anywhere you see this, you can add a link. So I click on that. The URL that I want it to go to is my digital catalog, which you girls saw before. And you can click on test this link. Not sure if I need the HTTP. Let's see. Um, but again, when they click on that, it's going to redirect them. Yep. To the media center, to my clickable, flippable catalog. Okay. So I know that that link works. I'm going to click OK. And boom done okay now um you'll see that my website that i put in is not coming up as a linkable so all i'm going to do is highlight that and then click the link button and google is smart enough to realize that that is a website and they um they're they're good to go there so anytime you have a new catalog i come in and i just change this to the new catalog when you click on anything that's linked it'll give you the option to go to it to change it or to remove it so a lot of times i just change it so not only do i have the catalog on there but i also have throw the best party ever and again just like i did for the catalog in the media center you can create uh the best party ever flyer with your information on it and then i changed it in tiny url to be pr by joe best party ever and and look, it's going to redirect them to the media center, to my hostess brochure with my information, my email, my website, my phone number. Again, if I go to the second page, oh, look at that. My picture.
here and all my information from my media center profile is there okay so uh, that's just a little extra tidbit for you where am I okay so we're gonna close that hostess brochure but I do my best party ever there I uh, can't get enough of it is that not bold why does that look different um, oh two different fonts okay See, this is my little ADD coming out. This needs to be Tahoma. Okay, but um, so I have, there we go. Um, my best party ever, the Life's a Party, goes to the Life's a Party uh, recruiting brochure that Pure Romance gives us, all personalized with my information. And then lastly, I say, as a Pure Romance consultant, and this takes them straight to my website, to my starter kits. Okay, so... Yeah, it'll redirect to those starter kits. So ladies, that is how you create your Gmail signature. Be sure that you go down to the bottom and click Save Changes. Now when I go to Compose, boom. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? So that's going to show up as my signature in all of my emails. It's driving me crazy that this is too big, so I'm going to go in and edit that. But you girls get the point of how to add those pictures, how to add your links. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but again, you can have that your catalog available to everyone that you email. Uh, I, that is it. Have a beautiful day, and uh, I'll talk to you girls later.